What price should you launch your new product at? My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of my Amazon guy and I launch products all the time. But it's not every day that a brand launches a brand new product on Amazon and is able to get that maximum velocity without a lot of struggle. This particular product, it's an Age of Sage smudge sticks and I launched this last November and I was able to get the number one new release badge. Since then, I have 1100 coming up on 1200 reviews. It's been a very successful product for me. Um, this is a chart that I made to express the timeline for your launch pricing strategy. I advocate that pretty much every product should do something similar to this. Uh, if you're above $50, obviously you can't sustain a 50% off on your product launch, but you should try and do something similar to this no matter what price or category you're in. During week one, somewhere around 50% off of your target price is ex is rather appropriate. And, and by doing this, I don't mean launch at full price and throw up a coupon or launch it at full price and throw up a rebate. I actually mean, if you plan to sell this thing at $50, launch it at 25. And the reason for this is because you have zero reviews on your latest product. Now, if you're selling a cultural thing or a phenomenon of some sort, like this House of Dragon Game of Thrones mug, obviously you don't need to launch at 50% price off. You can go right at the same price that you want to sell it at. And the reason that works is because there's a cultural demand for a product where you don't have a bunch of people that you're chasing or going after. Uh, there's not somebody else that can outcompete you. It's basically whoever is first to market wins in a lot of regard. But here's a product that I tried to parent with another one and I went at a significantly lower price. And for whatever reason, no matter how much time I spend working on this listing, I can't get this thing to move, right? I had this really successful $50 box uh, that made $144,000 in its first 30 days when I launched this. I absolutely uh, launched this at a lower price when I first launched this two Mother's Days ago in 2021. And uh, unfortunately, demand in this category is significantly lower now. And so I'm fighting against the currents. There's a lot more steep competition and pricing wars that are going on in, in the system and in the, in the demographics and all the competitors that are piling in on this. But I actually lowered this fabulous box as low as $10 about a week ago and still only generated 37 units in sales. At that point, I pretty much knew I gotta throw in the towel on this product. There are some minor exceptions to this, like somebody selling a higher quality item. If the price was too low, then the consumer would assume it's a low quality item. So there are reasons for that, but let's go through these weeks here. So week one, 50% below price of your target. And by week two, you can actually get a pretty sizable 10% jump. Now, if you try to go from week one to week eight, you would probably lose your own buy box. And that's because when you jump more than 10 or 15% on a price, Amazon's algorithm really gets upset by this. They really don't like it. So it's better to go slower, multiple jumps. Uh, and this is true whether you're launching a product or if you've got a sustained mature item as well. Having this target price slowly move up, you're gonna have a little bit better results. So we do a 10% jump week two here to 40. And then at the next couple of weeks, we're doing more of a 5% jump. Uh, and it's, it's actually a lot harder um, probably around week four to week six than it is between week one and week three. And that's because uh, you're really discounting below target market. But once you get around that 30% below target price, consumers are a little bit more wary. You don't have the reviews to back up what your product does and they assume it's gonna be some Chinese knockoff. A lot of consumers don't really understand or grapple that there are American sellers selling some oftentimes American made product on, on the Amazon platform. Platform. They just don't look for it. They don't know what it looks like. Once you get it closer to that week six to week seven, you're getting very close to your target price. And sometimes it takes a little bit longer to get to your target price. Maybe it's not week eight when you finally get there. Or maybe you're like, oh my gosh, sales are moving so well, I'm going to stock out. At, at that case, you're going to go way faster on trying to get up to that target price by week eight. Maybe you, you launched the item on November 1st, but on Black Friday, there's a gigantic run on your items, and that's very common. I always raise my prices on Black Friday. I have not run a discount on Black Friday for several years, but I have almost always raised my prices. Not on every single product, but on a lot of key products that I believe that I'm gonna sell regardless. Those items that I think I'm gonna sell out by Christmas regardless, 
I'm going to go ahead and raise my prices on Black Friday and win on that margin. Check out other videos that I have on other things you need to do during your launch on Amazon. We also have a launch course at mag-school.com to launch your product on Amazon. Check that out, mag-school.com. Thank you.